The thing that faith offers to the business world is what it offers really to any other bit of the human world, and that's a, a coherent, consistent picture of what human beings are for. So faith is there, I think, to remind business, as it's there to remind society at large, of the need for this mutuality, this reciprocal relationship in a society, asking how does this benefit not just me, but that of which I'm a part, because that's a sort of circulation of, of good, of welfare in the long run. So that's the question I think faith puts to business. Faith organizations, faith communities are, you might say, the trustees of that particular vision of humanity, and that's what they want to share. Business is always a matter of making a society work better. If you take business out of society and say it's, it's an activity in itself, of itself, you're saying something very eccentric. You're saying that here's a bit of our human life which has no connection really with helping human beings live together more humanely. So I think when business is doing its business, it's actually helping that, that social cohesion, confidence, the sense of being invested, having a stake in society. So I think business always needs to be asking, even if it's only at two or three removes, what is this doing that actually improves the real quality of common life? I think how we approach taxation tells us a lot about what we think of ourselves as citizens. If you're a citizen, then you contribute routinely to anything that supports a stable, nourishing, dependable background, the kind of social background that doesn't allow people to fall through the net. So tax is about that stability of background. And where you don't have that guaranteed in some rather chaotic developing countries, for example, you don't have stability. You don't have, therefore, the possibility of people being able to plan for their future and own their future. So I think a great deal depends on just, stable tax regimes and fair tax regimes, which includes, of course, a progressive element in, in taxation. If that's going to work, I think it's important that business is transparent about its, its processes and willing to, to stand the scrutiny of public examination. And that's not an anti-business point. It's simply saying that for business itself to operate successfully, it needs a stable background. Of course we pay for stability, and that's part of what responsible citizenship involves. At the heart of this, I think, is that idea of what it is to be a citizen, really shouldering the responsibility of being a citizen.